reality many families know very well. College tuition is not cheap. South Carolina's House of Representatives is debating the next state budget this week, and they want to implement another tuition freeze for in-state students. But as our State House reporter Mary Green explains, not everyone is on board. House budget writers are proposing freezing in-state tuition at South Carolina's public colleges and universities for the sixth straight year. But some lawmakers oppose this, arguing higher education is not a core function of government. Rather than further subsidize the middle class and wealthy four-year degree getters, again, oversaturated market, it's not, the, the, the market is not there for that. Basically, this is a mismatch in priorities. Current public school tuition costs in South Carolina range between around $10,000 and $15,000, not including other costs like books and room and board. The House budget proposal would give public colleges and universities money to freeze tuition for all students again next year, totaling to about $60 million. That's less than half of what the schools collectively requested for this. Members of the ultra conservative Freedom Caucus say that's still too much, and they propose to give that money instead to the South Carolina Department of Transportation for bridge repairs. But other lawmakers pointed out their budget proposal already allocates $200 million for this, the amount SCDOT asked for. If we do not keep the in-state tuition down or frozen, and these universities help us to help our families back home, they've got to come up with the money somewhere. So they're either going to raise tuition or, as Mr. Burns mentioned, and as, as I don't like, they're going to start bringing in more out-of-state tuition. That's just math, y'all. Ultimately, the House voted to approve this money for tuition freezes, but members are still debating the overall budget. And then in a few weeks, the Senate will take up its version of the spending plan. So this isn't final just yet. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. The House budget proposal also includes more than $400 million for scholarships like Life, Hope, and Palmetto Fellows, along with need-based and tuition grants.